Oh, oh my gosh, dude, it was big. Do you still have him? Oh my gosh, it's huge. Corner, corner oh on the God, skeleton dude. frog. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, it's a big one too. Just a big old healthy fish. That's what fall fishing is all about right there. Folks, what's going on? Welcome to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment dates popping up down below. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day. You guys have been going absolutely crazy on the subscribe button, so thank you guys so much. So today we got my boy the Hunter Fisher here with us. And what I was thinking about doing is going into Walmart right here behind us and basically getting all of the Halloween fishing lures, fishing rods, fishing reels. Kind of like everything that, that looks like Halloween. Maybe there's like a lure that looks like a skeleton or a zombie or anything. Oh, like, yeah, exactly. Oh, pumpkin. I mean, Pump we got oh, tons of stuff. There is pumpkin, green pumpkin. Bone. So, I mean, we'll just go inside. Whatever falls under the Halloween category, we're going to buy and try to catch some massive fish on. Little backstory, by the way, guys. Uh, yesterday, I was taking a thumbnail picture for another video, and I went to this pond, and I saw a ton of 8 to 10-pound bass, like, stacked. And so I told Hunter, so that's our plan right after this. I'm crazy excited. It's overcast. It's, like, 70 degrees outside, like, perfect conditions. Amazing weather. Oh, my gosh, it's dude. It's so good. If we could hook an 8 or 10-pounder on Halloween lures, I would go absolutely crazy. Ooh, <laughs> you ready to go inside the store though? Yeah, Look for some Halloween lures? All right, let's go. All right, guys, we are here in Walmart and Hunter's already looking for basically Halloween fishing lures. So we're kind of making up our own rules as we go. I've never done like one of these holiday fishing challenges before, so Halloween will be my first. So I'm thinking for starters, at least, we're looking for like lures that maybe are combined with uh, black and orange, maybe some that look like pumpkins. What else is Halloween? Pumpkin Skeletons? Seed. Pumpkin, pumpkin seed, ribbon tail worms. What do you think? I mean, it says pumpkin in it. So. It says pumpkin and it kind of kind of looks like a little bit of pale orange, but Maybe we gotta give it a chance. Let's, let's I think we should find out. <laughs> Look at this color. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that before. Lucky, Lucky charm. charm. Dude, that would be perfect for St. Patrick's Day. If you Dude, guys want to see like, like other holiday challenges, let me know down yeah. below. But... Oh wait. Oh, what are these? Hold this, on. Yo, this looks like... what are these, dude? Oh, <laughs> it's like snake eyes, dude. That would be good for like a costume. Like, do you know what I think oh. this looks like? What? what do you think? What do you think that looks like? Candy looks like, corn. That's exactly oh what I God. was thinking, dude. That is so perfect. We gotta give it a shot. We gotta give it a shot. <laughs> we have to try, guys. This lure looks exactly like uh, candy corn. I mean, that was just a completely random find, and I mean, frog fishing. I'm always down for it. Same color. Oh, that's perfect. Sweet tater pie. That's what it says <laughs> right there. Sweet tater pie. Let's give it a shot. Sweet tater pie with the black and the uh, and the orange also kind of looks like a candy corn, but also like a pumpkin as well. So perfect. So. Guys, so Walmart just made like a ton of soft plastic lures and they're fully stocked here. They have like brush hogs, swim baits, and actually that's pretty much it. And I'm trying to think if anything is like Halloween related. I mean, the packaging is orange, but that's pretty much about it. I mean, these are... These are green pumpkin. I feel like that's kind of like a that's kind of like a stretch. You know what I mean? I could get behind it. Oh, hold up! I just came up with an idea. So we got a green pumpkin swim bait. Okay. Okay. Now hold this. See where I'm going here. So guys, this is a stretch here, but this is also a. It has green pumpkin in it and a little bit of red, which I don't know if that's a Halloween color either. But combining the green pumpkin swim jig with the green pumpkin swim baits, I mean, it's a stretch. But maybe we'll get it. So Hunter, I'm gonna have you hold this as well. Find that jig. Yeah, Hunter, I found something, dude. <laughs> Look at this, you ready? Yes, now this I screams can... Halloween, not this one. Look but at this one, one there dude. You go. A black and orange jig, like literally perfect Definitely. for only $1.59. Guys, I don't even fish jigs that much around here just because we have so much grass in uh, in the lakes where I'm at. But, I mean, in Halloween spirit, we got to do it. We got to find a trailer. Guys, so I was going through all these lures on the bottom, looking for anything that looks like a Halloween lure. And I found these Walmart lures right here, and they're called Sun Perch. It has orange and green in it. It kind of reminds me of, like, a pumpkin. Yeah. In a way, it almost more work. than green pumpkin does. This reminds me more of a pumpkin because it has a ton of orange flake, orange and black flakes inside the lure. And Maybe I think that would be a perfect wrong. trailer to our uh, to our jig. We're not gonna catch anything on that though. <laughs> Heck that. Um, um, um. What are these? Hold hold up. Up. <laughs> Do you not see what I just grabbed? Yeah, those are like orange tomatoes. Worms. Guys, check this out. So these are like what I would call a reddish orange. They're called crawdad. And they're, and they're big curly tail worms. I think this is work. This is like literally the smallest crankbait I have ever seen. Like, So while you're over here looking at crankbaits, look at what I just found. We were going on a stretch, dude. Look at this. 
It's a Ned oh. rig kit. I never fished Ned rigs. Just me, because. me neither. I don't think I've ever fished a Ned rig. It's honestly, it's like an up north thing. But yeah. the Ned rig is known for catching a ton of fish and also uh, big fish sometimes. Oh, yeah. So catches this tons. Was like this is like a perfect little scoop right here, guys. Look at that orange with the black flake. I mean, that's just Halloween. If I've ever seen anything say Halloween before. What are you doing? I'm dancing, man. Dude. Wait, all right, guys. So we have all of the lures that we found at Walmart. We went through like every single one, and some of them were kind of a stretch looking for these Halloween lures. But off the rip, we got the Ned Rigs that we're going with today. I think these will be really good. We also have the Candy Corn Frog. That is that is honestly my favorite find. Black and orange jig, black, orange, and a little bit of yellow. Looks like candy corn and a pumpkin. It's actually probably better look at it. Oh no. Yeah, I can see. There we go. There you go. Another good find. We got the green pumpkin swim baits, which I think is gonna be a perfect trailer for any of our Halloween jigs we found. We also found these uh, reddish orange worms. If I'm being honest, these are more red, but I'm gonna call it orange for the Halloween special. But hey. I mean, we're trying here. I wish they had these in like bright orange, but it's kind of orange just depending on if you're colorblind or not. So. <laughs> and also, we have the sun perch hammer hogs, which I think will be super cool as well. It's like a greenish and an orange, so we had some great finds. So if you guys want to enter to win this, all you guys have to do is be subscribed to the channel, leave a like, and just drop a comment down below which one of these was your favorite. Whatever we don't use, I'll send off to one of you guys, just because, you know, it's a holiday. Might as well give back. All right, guys, we're going to go check out and uh, see you guys on the water. Whoosh. We are at the pond, actually, the parking lot to the pond, and we rigged up five rods and reels. Probably went a little bit overkill. Cars are going crazy. That's all right. Number one, it's actually crazy. So this is a black and orange combo in Halloween spirit. And uh, this, it's a little bit more red than this orange, but when it's out in the sun, it looks more orange than I thought it was gonna look. So that's perfect. Then on the black and orange loose combo, we also have the candy corn frog, which I'm scared if it's gonna get a bite or not, but at least it looks cool. Then I went ahead and rigged up the swim jig in the, it's actually like a more like a brown color, brown and orange with the green pumpkin trailer. All right, so what I got tied on right now, I got a chatterbait. It's a little bit of orange in it, and uh, I figured, why not? I just give it a toss and see if it worked any. Um, and I also got a bone colored frog. Now, a bone colored frog is obviously a staple for all frogs, and uh, I think it might get bit because you know bone skeleton. I mean, yeah. I think it fits the challenge. So, got to give it a shot. I think the frog bite might be on today. It's overcast. Hopefully so. All right, guys. So we're here at the uh, at the pond, and there's a ton of vegetation out here. Like Ooh, it's oh, you saw that? Oh yeah, it's a bass. It's like a bass. Has to be. But there's so much more vegetation than the last time I was out here, which makes me think that the frog might be a good move today, even though I've never caught a fish on a frog out here ever. But luckily we found that candy corn colored frog. We got the Halloween combo. I mean, could be looking at some fun frog fishing today. I just have no clue if they're gonna eat it or not. The fish in here are super picky on what they eat because there's so much live bait that normally it's really hard to catch them on artificial in here. I feel like they either really wanna chase something or they wanna look at something and know if it's real or not out here. Like it's kind of weird. Like a lot oh, of the oh, oh, oh my gosh, dude, it was big. Do you still have them? Oh my gosh, it's huge. Hunter, oh Hunter, I'm God, a skeleton dude. frog. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. Oh my gosh. Here, I'm gonna run down. I'm gonna run down. I'm gonna run down. I'm gonna run down. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> oh. dude. Dude, bring, keep on bringing them. Keep on bringing them. I'm stuck in the grass. Oh my gosh, <sighs> dude. That was an epic blow up on the Halloween skeleton dude. frog, and you're bowed up. Is he still on there? Yeah, I'm stuck in that grass, oh dude. Oh my gosh. Can you go down and get it? Yeah, 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 I, I'll, I'll get down right here. <laughs> dude, Hunter, dude, let's I'm go. I'm stuck in that grass, dude. That's a giant, dude. Yeah, I saw it, I saw him. He was def- oh, keep, dude, he's keep, on keep there your attention on him. He's still on there? Yeah, oh, 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 he, I got him out of the grass. Oh, yeah, just real, real. Horse him, oh my he's gosh, giant. oh my gosh. <laughs> let's go. Oh, Hunter, okay, I'm walking down, dude, I'm walking down. Hunter, oh my gosh. Yes, Hunter, first fish on the Halloween lure. Oh, dude. Dude, I'm like their frog all day. I've never even seen a fish eat a frog out here ever. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm so hyped right now. Here, should I try? You might need to try walking back. All right, guys, we have a problem. Hunter's frog fish is stuck in like literally hundreds of pounds of vegetation. And uh, maybe you should try like, where's he at right now? He's right there. See I was gonna say, if you could open your bail and like keep tension and run that way and fight him through the open water. <laughs> dude, this is the dude, longest frog giant. fight ever. Watch out for my rods. Oh my dude, gosh. Dude, if we land this fish, I'm really hoping we do. Dude. My heart would be broken if we didn't. All right, yeah, let's try pulling him out this way. Get a different angle on him. I think he's still on there, right? He's on there, 100%. There's also like 900 gators in this pond too. Oh, oh yes, Hunter, he's still on, he's still on, he's still Freedom. on. Now run back, run back, <laughs> run back. Keep him out of the grass. He's got a ton of grass on him, Hunter. <laughs> 
no, I'm stuck in the bush. Oh my gosh, dude. This has been, oh, oh it's big, it's big, it's big, it's big, it's big. I'm Hunter, stuck in the bush. are you recording? Yeah. Oh. You got him stuck in the bush now? Yeah, dude. No. Oh, no, no, I just no. Broke off. Here, here. Is there a way to get down there? <sighs> I'm trying. Do you see him? I don't. Where, where'd you have Matt? He was like really close. Nah, dude, I think he's gone. No. Dude, that was the. Oh. That could have been my TV. <sighs> the bad thing is, I don't think they ever got a clear shot of it either. That was, guys, that was such a big fish. Well, guys, Hunter Easy just lost. I don't even know how big that. We're not even gonna talk about how big that fish was. Probably his PB. And it was on a frog. That would have been so cool. PB on the frog? Well, I know what I'm throwing now. <laughs> well, I'm throwing the candy corn frog now. Dang, dude, on a skeleton frog. Oh, that fish was huge. Dang, guys. Well, we're, uh, we're walking down, and I'm deciding that I'm probably going to throw a frog for quite a bit. Uh, you want to walk down right here? It's kind of sketchy. You just set the mood for this video, Hunter. Like, you got us. You got me thinking that we have potential to catch another big one. I'm so bummed that you lost your uh, probably potential PB. probably PB. Oh, man. What a day. What a way to I'm start. Hurt on the heart. Oh, that's an ampile. Oh, that is a fat ampile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a lake. Oh, oh my gosh. Did you have a bite? Oh, dude. Oh, 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 it's a big one, too. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. I don't think it's as big as yours, dude, but it's a good one. Oh, the candy corn. All right, I got him up on land. Oh my gosh. I do. I saw him swimming at it from a mile away. That was, those are like my favorite types of eats. All right, please don't let there be any snakes. <laughs> Dude, the fr oh, it's so much fun. It's too much fun, dude. I love frog oh, fishing. Fine. Oh, dude, it's a it's a decent one. I got the seal ready. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at how That's we ate five. that. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. <sighs> Candy corn frog down the guzzle, dude. I think it's a uh, three and a half. Three and a half. We'll see. Three and a half? Yeah, hold up. Okay. Uh, let me get a let me get a Instagram, Instagram story. You guys, make sure to follow us on Instagram so you can see the fish. Before the videos are even released. Three, two. Three, two? Yep. Dang, he seems bigger than that. I know, he looks fat, dude. Guys, look at the belly on that beast right there. So three, two was the official weight. I thought it was three and a half, but uh, I was a few ounces I off. Like <laughs> nah, that's, that it's a tank though, dude. I mean, that is just, oh my gosh. That's just a beautiful, healthy fish. All of them out here eat so good because they have so many bluegill. I'm gonna try to walk them back and get them in. I did not think today's video was going to be a uh, candy corn frog fishing video, but I mean, it's really the only thing you can throw right here with all the mats. But when we get over there towards the dam, there's a ton of open water, and that's where I think our Halloween worms and also the Halloween uh, swim jigs and chatterbaits we got might come into play, but it's just weird out here. You threw the frog over there, right? Yeah. Just go crank on him. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, dude! It's probably a good two and a half, three pounder right here. Second one on the frog, guys. Dude, look at how thick and healthy that fish is, and the candy corn frog is gone, dude. I don't even think I had him hooked. Oh my! I didn't even have him hooked. He was just holding on that. Oh, no, I did, I did, I did, I did. Uh, I was okay. going to say, man, he really likes candy corn. <laughs> Dude, look at the Let's way they're go. eating the candy corn frog out here. All right, guys, here she is. I, I got her really good. I got her hooked really good, so we're going to go ahead and just uh, let her go straight away, not get the weight. I think it's uh, probably three pounds, a little bit smaller than the last one. Oh, and there she goes. Very nice. Anywhere from like two to eight people right now. Yeah. Holy cow! It's a tank! It's a tank! Yes! Oh my gosh! Yeah! Oh my gosh! No! He jumped and spit the frog, dude. 
Oh my gosh. That was my biggest saltwater blow up of the year. What is going on? Dude, I watched him come from literally halfway, like literally 10 yards under the mats, came up, sploosh on it. I, I got him and I was bringing him in and he jumped like three three times, the third time he spit it. Just, uh, just unlucky, I guess. Nothing really I could have done there. And the problem is one of the hooks on the frog went into the soft plastic of the, or into the frog, you know what I mean? Oh, really? Like it, so when I set the hook, I only had one of the points in them because the other point dug into the uh, dug into the frog instead of into the fish. So that might have been why he uh, why he escaped. Man. Mm. Moving down? <laughs> yeah, we can. <laughs> What's going on, man? Nice to see you. Got him. Don't tell me it's a frog fish. It's a frog fish. I hate you. Oh, I'm recording too. Oh, come on, come to me. It's big, it's big, it's big, it's big. Dude, you're gonna have to, you might have to run down. Oh. Look at the amount of grass you got. Oh, he's barely hooked, he's barely hooked. I'm gonna run down, I'm gonna run down. Let me hold the rod for you. No, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, he might be bigger than oh. Holy, holy, oh my gosh, that is a giant, dude, his stomach is massive, oh my God, dude. <laughs> holy cow, dude, the <sighs> candy corn frog is on a different level, <sighs> on a different dude, level, dude, after missing those big ones, yeah, we'll give her, we'll give her the whole weight real quick, oh, you got, you got that thing, do that, because it's better for the, for yeah. the fish, I don't want to, I just got to zero it out with it on, dude, that's a fat fish, all right, that's easy five and a half. No, more than that. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Dude, it is a six pounder. Oh my gosh. He would stop moving. Yeah. Five, 15, and three eighths. So five pounds, 16 ounces is a six pounder. That's a six pounder in my books because he's kind of wiggling around. <laughs> Dude, Hunter, fist bump on that, bro. Yeah. Holy cow. Five pounds, 15 ounces, basically a, uh, a six pounder on the frog. Halloween challenge, I would call that a success. And oh, we yeah. caught half the pond to keep on fishing. Biggins, more to come hopefully. We're gonna go ahead and let this beautiful girl go. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at that beast. <laughs> Dude, that is such a big fish. Oh my gosh. There she goes. Oh man, six pounder, dude. Guys, six pounds on the frog. Feels good after missing some of those bigger ones. You know, getting a six pounder in. Now I need to redeem myself. Yes. Hunter needs to redeem himself because he lost a, a big one too. It's just uh, frog fishing, it's a, it's a tricky thing, you know. It's, I think it's actually the fishing technique where it's the least likely you're gonna land the fish. Like percentage wise, hookup ratios on a frog is way less than any other lure, but man, is it fun. 